Hi, this is Crystal the Herbalist, and this is video 9 of 9 on Be a Leader, How to Change People Without Giving Offense or Arousing Resentment. And this is based off of the book from Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And this chapter is entitled, Making People Glad to Do What You Want. Now, statesmen and diplomats aren't the only ones who use this make a person happy to do things you want them to do approach. Uh, this can happen great for, this is, works really well for children. For example, uh, one of Jeff's chores was to pick up pears from under the pear tree so the person who was mowing didn't have to get out of the chair and, and pick up the pears while he was moving along. Now, Jeff didn't like this chore and he frequently was either not doing it or it was done so poorly that the mower had to stop and pick up the several pairs that he'd missed. So rather than have an eyeball to eyeball confrontation about it, one day the father said to him, Jeff, I'll make you a deal. For every bushel basket full of pears you pick up, I'll pay you one dollar. Of course it was a long time ago. But at after you are finished, for every pair I find left in the yard, I'll take a wa away a dollar. How does that sound? As you would expect, he not only picked up all of the pairs, but he had to ch keep an eye on them because he want wanted to make sure he didn't pull a few off the trees just to fill up the baskets. Now, sometimes it may seem like a little childish to, you know, make the people happy, but, you know, that was what some people thought of Napoleon when he had created the Legion of Honor and distributed 15,000 crosses to his soldiers and made 18 of his generals marshals of France and called his troops the Grand Army. Napoleon was criticized for giving toys to his war-hardened veterans and Napoleon replied, men are ruled by toys. Now this technique of giving titles and authority worked for Napoleon and it'll work for you. For example, a friend of uh, Carnegie's, Mr. Mrs. Ernest Gent of Scarsdale, New York, was troubled by boys running across and uh, destroying her lawn. She tried criticism, she tried coaxing, neither worked. Then she tried to give the worst sinner in the gang a title and a feeling of authority. She made him her detective and put him in charge of keeping all trespassers off her lawn. That solved a problem, so an effective leader should keep the following guidelines in mind when it is necessary to change attitudes or behavior. Be sincere. Do not promise something that you cannot deliver. Forget about the benefits to yourself and concentrate on the benefits to the other person. Know exactly what it is you want the other person to do. Be empathetic. Ask yourself what it is the other person really wants. Consider the benefits that the person will receive from doing what you suggest. Match those benefits to the other person's wants. When you make your request, put it in a form that will convey to the other person the idea that he personally will benefit. We could give a curt order like this. John, we have customers coming in tomorrow and I will need the stock room cleaned out. So sweep it out, put the stock in neat piles on the shelves and polish the counter. Or we could express the same idea showing John the benefits he will get from doing the task. John, we have a job that should be completed right away. If it is done now, we won't have to be faced with it later. I am bringing some customers in tomorrow to show our facilities. I would like to show them the stock room, but it is in poor shape. If you could sweep it out, put the stock in neat piles on the shelves, and polish the counter, it would make us look efficient, and you will have done your part to provide a good company image. So what do you think? That way, I think John would be wouldn't necessarily be happy to do it, but at least he would know that he's making a making a contribution. So, I mean, it's naive to believe that you'll always get a favorable reaction from other persons when you use these approaches, but the experience of most people shows that you will more likely change attitudes this way than by not using these principles. So if you even increase your successes by a mere 10%, you have become 10% more effective as a leader than you were before, and that is your benefit. So, to be a, a great leader, make the other person happy about doing the things you suggest. Email me, crystal at healthherbs.com. You can even uh, make a comment on my blog, uh, www.positivelifech.blogspot.com. And 
good health to you.